Good day again and welcome to our channel. This is Green Thumb Philippines. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to graph a pink patch of bougainvillea. So uh, this is my uh, materials right now. As you can see, this is a uh, ordinary uh, bougainvillea. So uh, this is my rootstock. So I'm going to uproot it right now. So uh, ito yung gagamitin natin. So uh, pwede natin tong i-graph diretso kasi... Uh, alive na alive yung uh, rootstock natin so mabubuhay talaga yung uh, graft natin so for now i'm going to measure it around 2 feet or uh, 60 centimeters from the uh, roots so as you can see i have my uh, measuring tape uh, 2 feet or 60 centimeters so uh, i'm going to measure it right now <clears throat> okay i'm going to have to mark right here so another two feet dito and then okay and then let's cut it so uh i have here my old bucket as you can see there's a hole at the bottom part and then this is our uh rootstock so tanggalin natin ito and then as you can see they're so uh, healthy have a lot of roots so uh, we can graph it directly after we uprooted it so uh, for now let's check this one okay so uh, this is good they're good to go okay and now one of my practices and uh, grafting a bougainvillea every time i uh, repot this one i uh, use uh, this uh, dry leaves at the bottom part of our uh, pot it will act as a uh, bottom filter and a fertilizer when the days come na malalanta ito so magiging fertilizer siya so i'm adding my uh, river sand at the bottom part okay and then this is uh, ordinary soil mixed with rice hull for the good aeration of our soil mix and then i'm going to add our garden compost or uh, vermicompost if you have and then give it a little tap and press to settle down our soil mix so again this is a uh, layering part of our soil mix and now we have to put our uh, put our uh, rootstock in here at the center at the center so dito so uh, dapat na sa gitna siya para maganda tingnan and then i'm adding again our garden soil so uh one of the indication that your soil is healthy pag medyo ano siya tingnan pag medyo maitim because that is a humic acid yung uh, medyo black yung ano soil so uh, this, uh again i'm adding again so uh tatag lang natin and then i'm adding again our ordinary soil with the uh, rice hull rice hull for the good aeration of our uh, soil mix and then i'm adding our uh, okay i'm gonna settle this first <clears throat> so and now i'm going to add our uh, what we call this the uh, coconut sawdust to maintain the acidity level of our soil mix uh, as you all know this uh, coconut sawdust is a uh, highly acidic uh, type of mulching so uh I'm gonna use it just to maintain the acidity of our uh, soil mix in this uh, grafting method <clears throat> excuse me and then last layer is our uh, river sand to hold firmly the soil mix para ano siya para ma firm siya pag ano at saka hindi tutubo yung ano yung mga weeds or mga unnecessary uh, uh, weeds na ano Tutubo. So for now, I'm going to make some insertion, insertion point in here carefully. If you're using this uh, blade, so uh, slowly but carefully. Okay, and now I'm inserting our scion. As you can see, our scion have a little uh, buds. So uh, may mga ano siya maliliit na buds para mabilis talaga tumubo at madaling mabuhay. And sorry for my koko, ang daming lupa na nakapasok. <laughs> okay, so uh, lagyan lang natin ng ito, electrical tape. Since I am not using uh, a grafting tape or uh, cellophane or plastic, 
So I'm using this method for around 2 years and then okay naman siya. So ang iba, ang daming sinasabi na hindi daw effective ang electrical tape kasi pang electric lang talaga. So uh, but then just see the result of this. And now I'm putting some uh, glue. You can use uh, anything. Uh, basta nan toxic glue lang siya just to seal the wound of this uh, rootstock and then uh, ilalatag lang natin siya <clears throat> just to seal the wound of this uh, we call this uh, rootstock and then okay and then uh, let's dry it for a while and then we have put some this cover a transparent plastic just a little bit I say ICU method method rather and then let's put it in the shaded part of our garden and then one of my practices is I'm putting always a magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt every time I replant a bougainvillea or any uh, flowers or plant that I have so I'm adding some uh, Epsom salt in here and just uh, one little pinch and then add a rainwater or uh, any tap water. I'm using rainwater because rainwater is uh, healthy and a slightly acidic water, so it's very good. So after uh, three weeks, let's check the progress of our uh, graft. So it's been three weeks, guys. So as you can see, there's a little buds that are going out. So may mga buds na lumalabas after three weeks pa lang. And after one month old, let's open pl our plastic a little bit. So again, this is one month old uh, grafting of uh, pink patch bougainvillea. As you can see, they're so healthy and I have one over also over here. And they are growing so healthy also. So uh, this is the first day of our opening of this uh, plastic. Huwag natin uh, isagad agad yung ano. Kailangan pag mag-open tayo. Uh, paunti-unti lang para masanay so uh, just a little hole the side and then uh, tomorrow I'm gonna open it again the other side so uh, this is the second day so second day is the second hole at this uh, side okay so this is the step by step para hindi mamatay yung ano graft natin so uh, the third day a much bigger hole at this side again para masanay siya sa open air wag nating i-diretso open kasi mamamatay talaga yan kaya maniniwala sa iba na diretso talaga so at the fourth day total opening of our uh, uh, plastic so uh, this is the fourth day total opening and then at the fifth day, uh, total removal of our uh, plastic cover. So uh, this will stay here for about one week at the shaded part of my house before I uh, put it in the open sun. And uh, this is the step-by-step -step process of grafting our pink patch bougainvillea. As you can see, we have a nice result. They are uh, growing so well. Okay. Again, this is a one month and a one week result or update. As you can see, they are uh, so uh, alive. And uh, this one over here is uh, also a pink patch uh, bougainvillea. So uh, later, I'm going to take out this plastic. And uh, this is Green Thumb Philippines uh, saying thank you. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye and I love you all. And uh, please uh, take care always. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.